plugging the numerical EZ and HY into this update equation, I got the second equation shown here on this slide. Now, as before, we could solve for either EZ naught or HY naught. This time, let's solve for EZ naught. And we're going to do that by dividing by this entire term. So if we do that, we get what's the third equation written on this slide. Now on the right side, we can cancel the common exponentials shared by all of the terms. So what's shared by all the terms is e to the j omega tilde n delta t and e to the minus j k tilde i delta x. So that means we can cross out all these n's n, 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 and also the i's. And in the numerator, we can pull out the common e to the j omega 0.5 delta t out in front. So if we do all of that, here's this term we just pulled out in front that's shared between both of those terms and the numerator. Now we have this equation here. Now since the term we pulled out in front in the numerator has a negative sign in it, we can reverse the sign and put it into the denominator. So at this point we're really just manipulating the equation to see if we can get a nice clean and simplified form of it. So another thing we can do is we can cancel the double minus signs in the second term in the numerator. So here there's a minus sign there and a minus sign there. And we can also simplify the denominator after moving this down to the denominator. So this is what we have after doing all that simplification. And what we want to do next is we want to use an identity. Sine theta is equal to e to the j theta minus e to the minus j theta over 2j. And so we can apply this to both the numerator and the denominator. We're going to have the two j's from both of those going to cancel each other. So what we wind up with is e z naught. We have delta t over epsilon delta x in front and h y naught. But then we're just left with minus sine k tilde delta x over 2 and sine omega tilde delta t over 2. If we were to go through the same process for Ampere's law, that is plug the numerical solutions for EZ and HY into the update equation for Ampere's law shown here, and then simplify the expression in the same manner, we would get this solution for EZ naught. So now, as for the analytical calculation that we did, we have two equations for EZ naught here. We solved for EZ naught instead of HY naught one from Ampere's law and one from Faraday's law. So we should be able to set them equal to each other. So try setting these equations equal to each other and simplify them to see what uh, form of an equation you can get.